Um, your first act, ladies and gentlemen, this guy is a very funny comedian from right here in Montreal. You guys are going to love him. Would you please welcome to the stage kindly, Mr. Morgan O'Shea, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's up? You guys seem fun. How's it going? Woo! Yeah, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I just wanna, I just wanna let you guys know off the bat, just like a little disclaimer. Some people think I'm a bit offensive. Okay, I get my life threatened a lot. After shows, people come up to me like, "Hey, Morgan, you better watch what you say. If you say that again, I'm gonna beat you down like a redheaded stepchild." Do you know what it's like to get beat like a redheaded stepchild? Like, no. But I know what it's like to get beat like an Irishman's real child. It usually involves an extension cord, a pint of whiskey, and three days of awkwardness, am I right? <laughs> oh, it's good to laugh again. <laughs> Had a rough weekend. Just think about, just think about kids. Does anybody have kids here? Anybody? That's good, because you probably should be taking care of them, not out of comedy shows. <laughs> you know? I don't like kids, you know, I'm not a fan. You know, they're all right, but I'm just like so much smarter and more clever than they are. You know, and I hate when kids give you dirty looks too. Behind their mother's back, they're just like, eh, nah. eh. Nah. I don't take that. I parry right back, like, whatever you stupid kid. Your whole life revolves around candy and you need your mother's permission to get it. I can go to the corner store right now and get a Charleston chew. That's how I roll, deep. When's your bedtime? Nine o'clock? That's when I'm calling my drug dealer to get high, but you don't even know about that. You'll probably find out. You're a little daft, a little slow. <laughs> Inevitably, the mom always turns back like, why are you yelling at my kid? We'll tell him not to start shit he can't finish. It's not my problem, you know? Maybe I'd like kids more if they're more like parrots. You know, you could just throw a blanket over their cage and they shut the fuck up, they get a nighttime, go to sleep. Or maybe I'd take some morning kids. I'd take a few Mormon kids. I don't know, that sounds a little weird, but I was watching this Oprah special one time. You know, and Oprah went into one of those uh, Mormon compounds and interviewed all the children. And they took a tour and they went into the playroom and she realized they didn't have any toys. She's like, where are all your toys? Don't you like to play? They're like, no, we don't like to play. We like to work. I'm like, fucking sign me up right now. I'll take five or six of them. Someone's gotta support this family. I can imagine me, my house, Bunch of Mormon kids running around. I just hand them a hoe, start cultivating. But daddy, we live in an apartment. Well, you better find a patch of land because I want to see a potato farm by five o'clock. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to ruffle up those buns. Take away little, those little house on the prairie dresses. I'm going to make you drink caffeine and watch horror movies all night. I'm going to punish you is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and Oprah, the same special. Oprah, she doesn't miss a thing. She's smart. She's clever. She doesn't miss a thing. She realized they didn't have any toys. She also realized they didn't have any DVDs. <gasps> She's like, haven't you ever seen Toy Story? No. Haven't you ever seen Finding Nemo? No. Haven't you ever seen Shrek? No. Haven't you ever seen Shrek 2? She actually asked this question. I just expected the kid to look up like, of course we've seen Shrek 2, bitch. We only get sequels in the compound. You mean there's a Shrek 1? Moms! <laughs> so I'm single. I'm single, so that's depressing. That's depressing too. It's hard being single if you have like no charm or charisma. And if you have like five or six sketchy vices, it's even tougher. You know, you say the wrong word, they'll peg you for a fiend. Like, I met this girl I worked with, like, she was kind of cute, I quite fancied her. So I went up to her during break. I was like, hey, what are you doing after work? You want to go, like, smoke a joint or something? She looked at me with disgust, like, ah, oh, what are you, one of those guys that gets high, like, once a day? I was like, shit, if I could cut it down to once a day, maybe get some goals accomplished, be a little bit more motivated. Like, I was gonna go to the washroom and invite you to do a line off my inner thigh, but I'm guessing that's out of the question. I don't think this relationship's gonna work. Ridiculous, man. Have you ever had a condom expire on you? That's the most embarrassing shit in the world, because I'm pretty sure condoms last longer than canned beans. They're non-perishable. Luckily, I didn't find out the hard way, though. You know, my roommate came home with this girl one time. He asked me for a condom. I just gave it to him without thinking. Two weeks later, he comes home crying. Like, I got this random girl pregnant. I don't understand. I used a condom. Got me thinking. So I went and checked the condoms. 
was like, oh, 15 months off, not even close. Good Lord, that's a dry spell and a half. Good thing I checked, that could have really ruined my life. That would terrible. So I had to go buy some condoms, you know, go buy some new condoms. And that's always embarrassing too. Especially like if I could go to the corner store to buy the condoms because the condoms are always behind the counter. And there's always two types of condoms too. There's the regular size condoms over here. And then there's the magnums over here. And it doesn't help that my dep owner is Guyanese. Like, I'm already timid as a, I'm like, uh, can I get some condoms, please? He's like, what? <laughs> uh, can I, can I get some condoms, please? He's like, oh yeah, you need some condoms? What kind do you need? You a big boy? You a real big boy? I was like, yeah, well, uh, why don't you just give me uh, some of the magnums there for myself, and uh, why don't you give me some of the regular size condoms for my little brother, you know? <laughs> Never be too safe, you know? So I have a surplus of magnums. I'll be selling them outside if anyone's interested. <laughs> Make some dough. So one time I ran out of the regular size condoms too. I was with this girl. So I had to pull out a magnum. It was embarrassing because her eyes just lit up like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to... I'm trying to fumble it on and shit. I'm like, I, I don't think this is gonna work. Do you have an elastic band or a scrunchie or something like that? I swear to God, she looked at me like a red-headed stepchild. That's my time. My name's Lord of the Shade.